the last Duel Monster set. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening. Yes, we are opening first edition, Hobby, Flaming Eternity. This is going to be such an epic opening. As I mentioned in the intro, it is the final Duel Monster set. Some people say it ends at Ancient Sanctuary. In my opinion, I think the Lost Millennium is a clear beginning to the GX era because it has all the beginning monsters from GX like the Ancient Gear Golem, of course the Flame Wingman. Both of those are in the very first episode of GX. And this more of a uh, more of an old school feel. It does have the alternate rares, but I believe that this is the final set. So this is the 14th overall set in Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's the final Duel Monsters set. There's some really cool cards in here we'll talk about in a minute, but first we have a giveaway. I will be giving away this Dark Magician of Chaos, Invasion of Chaos, Near Mint. Very nice card. All you have to do, like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite Duel Monsters set Starting at LOB and ending at Flaming Eternity. If you don't agree with me that you think Ancient Sanctuary is last, then just say one of the first 11 then. Also, I want to mention we still have 10 packs left in the Magician's Force box break. We're getting close to selling this thing out. Once we do, it's going to be an epic YouTube live stream. So if you guys want to buy those, check out the link in the description to Ruxin34.com. Buy one and you can be in on the box break. Let's get right into this booster box. This is one of the few boxes that I have not opened from the original Duel Monsters and GX sets. So I've not opened this box. I have not opened Light of Destruction. I have not opened Invasion of Chaos. And I think there's one more, a Strike of Neos. So this will cut us down to needing to only open three more boxes. And we'll have opened all of them in first edition, which would be pretty crazy. Inside of this box, we could pull the Sacred Phoenix. That's the cover card, Ultimate Rare. It looks absolutely beautiful. I will show you guys on the screen. There's also tons of other cool Ultimate Rares that I'll think of as we're opening. We should get probably two per box. Maybe if we get a crazy box, we'd get three, but I think we'd get two ultimate rares. Let's break into this. This is going to hurt because you do not see these boxes very often. Very cool. Flaming Eternity. Let's go. The wrapping has been removed. The value has been destroyed. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, first edition. 24 packs. They did this thing weird because they did like a square up here instead of a circle. It's squared. Yeah, so that's one of the only boxes like that, I think. All right, let's open this thing up. I'm going to set this thing over here. Maybe we should mix up the packs because sometimes they end up being mapped. And we don't want a mapped opening. I don't know if they're mapped in this, you know, the transition sets, some people call this. I don't know if they're mapped in here or not, but we're going to do a little shuffle. We're going to be very careful with these packs, though, because they are very old at this point. I believe this set came out in 2005, very early 2005. I could be wrong, though. Somewhere around there, it's 2004 or 2005, because I know Ancient or the Lost Millennium came out in 2005. But let's go into the very first pack, Flaming Eternity. Check out that Phoenix. That would be really cool to pull even in Ultra Rare. So we will only probably get one Ultra Rare. I think the ratios are the same for Ultras as they are in GX. Because they changed up all the rarities and stuff. That's kind of why people think this is a GX set. Oh, so many cool cards in this set. The Insect Knight. This was a classic. It's another 1900 as a kid. You love 1900s. And 1500 defense, so pretty good. Fulfillment of the contract. Okay, that's cool. Good Goblin Housekeeping. This is one that you'd always play in Duel Links and be like, yeah, it's actually not good. But uh, Centrifugal Field. Very cool. Ooh, a Lightning Vortex. Yeah, that's another crazy ultimate rare. We've already got a super rare right off the bat, and it's one of the best ones, Lightning Vortex. It's good for GOAT format. It's good for a lot of formats when Raigeki's not legal, and sometimes even when it is. Very good super rare. And the condition looks pretty good. The back is usually pretty bad on these uh, FET cards. There's a little bit of scuffing you guys can see right there, but it's really not bad. So that's a very good start. Very good start to this opening. We then have the uh, Dragon of Ragnarok, Hex Sealed Fusion, Element Doom, and the Space Mambo. So, already pulled a foil. I think we'll pull, like, maybe four supers. We'll see. Okay, another 23 packs here. Wow, this is so much fun. This is actually a really, really cool set. I've always underrated. I didn't realize how cool it was. And there's one of the best cards. Rescue Cat as a common, I think, is $15, which is nuts for any common. Even though it's first edition, that's still crazy. Rescue Cat, that's even better than the Vortex. Pro Actually, Vortex may be a lot. I don't know. There's the Ushioni. Chusuke, the Mouth Fighter. <laughs> the Mouse Fighter. He's not fighting any mouths. Okay. Good Goblin Housekeeping again. And. Chiron, the Mage. That's a very cool, rare release restraint with the Gear Freed artwork. You love that. Mecha Dog Marin. So Skull Dog Marin and the other Dog Marin. There's a lot of craziness going on with his... Uh, 
Threatening Roar is very good with his um, lore, I guess. Wow. That's a very good start. Rescue Cat and a Lightning Vortex right off the bat. We would love to get tons of Rescue Cats. Help us get a little bit of our money back. Because we're definitely not making it back on this one. Because even if we pull a good ulti, they're probably not going to be 10s based on the backscuffing. We've got a good Goblin Housekeeping. There's a Hyena. That's a classic. Armed Samurai Benkai. This had a OTK deck, which is really cool. Not to play against, but it's cool that it existed. Light Hex Sealed Fusion. All right. And a forced ceasefire. So ceasefire, uh, but it's forced. Okay, cool. We've got a kind of a redo of that old card. Uh, Firebird. Big March of the Animals. And it has the uh, Behemoth of All Animals. That's another guy we could get. Dark Hex Sealed Fusion. Okay. These cards are just... Va I love the feel of these. They feel really cool. They kind of change it up in GX, I think. So the originals just feel nice. This is not GX. No, I'm just kidding. A lot of you guys will probably not agree with me on that. So let me know in the comments if you don't. But I think that, uh, I think it's definitely the last DM set. Maju Geyer Panda. Another Benkai, cool. Fulfillment of the contract. Flame Ruler, that's a cool guy. What does he do? If you tribute summon a fire monster, you can treat this monster. Oh, no, okay. The double summon guy. Ooh, ultimate insect level five. Very cool. Kangaroo Champ. All right, threatening, a lot of threatening rules. This would be good if we were playing actual duel. On to the next pack. So far, just one super rare. That's okay. I like saving it for the end. That's fun. But then it gets a little nerve wracking that you might not pull one. You might only pull like one ulti or something. We've got a whirlwind prodigy. This is another guy tribute summon you get to. Maybe they're all in here. Rescue cat number two. That's fantastic. We've got a Abare Ushioni. Shusuke the mouse fighter. He's not the mouth fighter. And a meteor of destruction. Yeah, that would be a bummer to get that in like a retail box. But because it's a hobby box, we will get supers and ultras as ulties only. We got DD. Hand of Nephthys, so we want to get that Sacred Phoenix, please. Golem and Blade Rabbit. I love the Sacred Phoenix, so it'd be really cool. I actually bought... You guys have heard the story of when I bought the whole Horus Ultimate Rare set and it got lost in the mail. I actually had a Sacred Phoenix in that package as well. Ultimate Rare First Edition. Then I traded... Um, I actually traded for that part of it, but uh, yeah, obviously we didn't get it. Hyena. Exhaled Fusion. Good Goblin Housekeeping. Another Rescue Cat. This is a great box so far. Three Rescue Cats. That's like $45 right there. Here we go. Whoa, another Lightning Vortex. Okay, that's really weird, but it's one of the best supers you can get. A double on the supers. I, I have not seen a lot of doubles in... I've seen them occasionally, but in 24-pack boxes, you rarely get doubles of supers. So that's really cool. So, so far, our best pulls are three Rescue Cat and two Lightning Vortex. How weird is that? All right, we got the Kangaroo Champ, Pole Position. Pole Position. Okay. Earth's Hex Shield Fusion and Ragnarok. Okay. Weird. Weird. If you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe because we are on our way to 100,000. And I would really appreciate it. If you guys enjoy the video, you might as well subscribe. If you don't, that's okay. Okay. Centrifugal Field right off the bat. We've already gotten three Rescue Cats. That's crazy. Chusuke the Mouse Fighter. The mouth. I just think that every time. All right, Whirlwind Prodigy. We've got an Elemental Burst. Behemoth, the king of all animals. It's not an ultimate rare. Okay, I probably don't want this guy as an ultimate rare. He is pretty cool, but there's some better ones, I think. Like the uh, Mystic Swordsman level 5 is really cool. Or Silent Swords. Which one is it? Maybe it's Silent Swords in level 5. There's there's a really cool one there. Uh, Sacred Phoenix. Of course, the Gatling Dragon is very, very cool. That's an ultra rare as well. So we would love to pull those. I think the Gatling Dragon Ultra is very, like, very valuable already. Just the Ultra Rare. Because it is played in some decks. It's actually an insane card when you get it out. Okay, we have the Beast Soul Swap. Element Valkyrie. Refusion. Another Rescue Cat. Will it be Lightning Vortex? Swords of Concealing Light. Okay, so that's a little well, Swords of Concealing Light. Another Hex Sealed. Firebird. Blade Rabbit, Hand of Nephthys. I think this is actually another smaller set. They kind of started doing these in the mid sets and then in the uh, GX sets. And so that probably gives us a better chance to pull a lot of rescue caps. We've already gotten four. That'd be awesome if we got like 10. We're on pace for that right now. We have another Insecto Knight. Very cool. Good Goblin Housekeeping. Centrifugal Field. Chusuke, the Mouse Fighter. And... Penalty game. Oh, I don't know if I've ever seen that, but that guy is like wing dragon a raw with a hood on. That's what he looks like. 
Threatening Roar, Space Mambo, and Mecha Dog Mirror. We have still have 15 packs left. We've got a long way to go. We've pulled three supers, no ultra, and no ultis yet. So we're saving the big boys for the end, it seems. Let's see what we'll pull. And already four rescue cats. I mean, those are basically like extra foils with how much they're worth. Insect Knight. Fulfillment of the contract. Flame Ruler. Roman Prodigy. Here it is. A four ceasefire, another rare. We got a gold dynamite, element doom, and the big march of the animals. Okay, keep it going. Let's get an epic ultra rare. I would love that so much. And I would also love a sacred phoenix ultimate rare. That is the that's the main goal. The cover card would be crazy awesome. It's not even worth like a ton. If it gets a 10, it'll be worth a ton because there's only a few of them graded at all. In the actual pop of the ultimate rare, I think there's three. And then before that, back before they actually labeled them ultimate rare, they would just group them in with the ultra rare. So I think there was like a pop five before that or right now. So a couple of those are ultimate rare. So maybe like a pop five. We got an insect knight. So it's very low pop. By pop, I mean population. There's only five PSA 10s graded of the ultra rare first edition. Maju Gaia Fanda. I said that wrong. Ushioni. Ooh, Ultimate Insect Level 5, Release Restraint, Mecha Dog, Space Mambo, and Threatening Roar. Okay. It's saving the big boys for the left side, it seems, unless it's right here in the final pack on the right. Let's go. Let's get another Rescue Cat. I'm down. Pretty decent star, but we're still waiting on something big. Beast Soul Swap. Refusion. Majugire Panda. Whirlwind Prodigy and... What is happening in this box? Two of the same super twice? What in the world? So our supers are doubles twice. Do we have more foils in here or something? Okay, so we have uh, Catnip Kitty and Catnip Kitty. This is a weird box. If you've ever opened Flaming Eternity, do you remember it doing weird stuff like this? Let me know in the comments because this is very strange. Pulling the same super twice. I've never done that. That's actually a first. I have pulled the same super like one double in one box or a couple boxes, but not two of the same super twice. All right, we got a hyena. The Ushio. Now I'm very curious. What's going to happen with the ultis? Element burst. Penalty game. Another rare. Okay, element doom and kangaroo champ. I'm getting nervous. Like what if it's a weird box with no ultimate rares or something like that? I mean, it's possible. It could happen. I hope it doesn't, but um, you never know. That would be quite the bummer. That is for sure. Uh, this is ripping very strangely. Maybe this means there's something crazy in here. Let's get it out. Okay. The Kung Fu Panda. Arm Samurai Benkai. Fulfillment of the contract. Blame Ruler. And finally. The Brain Jacker. Oh my goodness, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. DD Dynamite, Blade Rabbit, and Firebird. No Rescue Cat in a while either. I'm not sure if I have these stacks even, but we maybe have 11 packs left if the stacks were correctly even. It might have been one off. But uh, we got a while to go, but we still have not pulled an Ultimate Rare. So that's a bit scary. Hex Sealed Fusion. We got a Goblin Housekeeping. Another Rescue Cat. Very good. That's our fifth one. A Refusion. Another super. Oh, this is making me nervous. That's three supers. Oh no, is it all supers? Deck Devastation Virus is a very cool card. That's a cool card. But where are ultras and ultis? Oh no. I'm getting quite nervous for this, guys. Well, let me know what you're thinking in the comments. Come on, send me some support. We need ultis in this box. Maybe just replace the ultra, ultra, the ultra rare. That can happen. Hopefully that's what happened. Well, we don't want to replace the Ultra. Maybe we have an extra. That was the best case scenario. Valkyrie, we got a Refusion. Another Rescue Cat. That's number six. Good Goblin Housekeeping. And finally, we have... Brain Jacker, another rare. Uh, oh, oh, this is nerve-wracking, guys. Can we get... Maybe it'll be a Last Pack Magic, Sacred Phoenix, Ultimate Rare. I'm just dreaming right now. <laughs> I'm dreaming for something amazing. Let's go. Another refusion. Element Valkyrie. Beast Soul Swap. Ushione. A Shadow Slayer. Another rare. Oh my goodness. 
Head of Nethys, call the Sacred Phoenix. Play me Eternity. Let's continue. We have not pulled an Ultra. We have not pulled an Ulti. We have pulled five Super Rares. I can't open this thing. I think it's... There we go. I finally got it. That was... That was weird. All right. Can we get an ulti, guys? Come on. Hyena. Arm Samurai Benkai. Light Hexfield Fusion. Centrifugal Field. Will this be our first ulti? We are down to the last few packs. Meteor of Destruction. How many packs do we have left? Okay, it's like maybe six or seven. Oh my goodness, this is scary. I'm petrified right now. What is going to happen? Come on, Booster Box. Give us something good. We've got a good Goblin Housekeeping. Light Hex Sealed Fusion. How you know? Let's get another Rescue Cat. The Yoshioni. Oh, a Grand Mark the Rock Monarch. It is an ultimate rare. That looks incredible. Check out those level stars. Oh, that looks really cool. The back does... Oh, it has a lot of stuff on it, but man, that is a pretty card. This is one of the ones that I was like, I will be happy if we pull this one. Grand Marg the Rock Monarch. That is pretty cool. It's not a very good one. It destroys a face down card, so it's not the best, but definitely a very cool ultimate rare. Woo, we can relax a little bit. We shuffled them to the bottom somehow. Oh my goodness. Or all to the left bottom, at least. Okay, we got an ulti. We still have one more in the box, assuming we get the two, like normal. I don't know if we'll get an ultra, though, because we did get five supers. We'll see. That was nerve-wracking. That's really cool. I like that card. Chusuke the Mouse Fighter. Let's see if we can get a Rescue Cat as well. We've already gotten five, which is really cool. Whirlwind Prodigy. Element Burst. Will it be back-to-back -back ulties? Nope. Swords of Concealing Light. All right, we got the Cat Nips Kitty and the Ragnarok. Four more packs in the final, the final Dual Monster set. We've pulled one ulti so far. Pretty cool one. We have pulled five rescue caps. We pulled five supers. Pretty good opening so far. But can we finish it with that cover card? That Sacred Phoenix Ultimate Rare. Let's go. Flaming Ruler or Flame Ruler. Whirlwind Prodigy. Element Burst. Arm Samurai Benkai. A cross counter. Okay. Okay. We're saving it for the end. Hexil Fusion and the Catnip Kitty. Three more packs in the opening. Wow, this is extremely nerve-wracking. The last pack magic ones are really just... They really get to you. Okay. Centrifugal Field. Insect Knight. Well, none of the contract fulfillment. <laughs> Flame Ruler, is this it? Is this the cover card? Come on, be it. Team Dragon Ultimate Rare. That's a pretty good one. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Okay, the back does have the scuffing, the usual stuff, but this card's actually very, very nice. Okay, that's a cool ultimate rare. I am very happy with these ultis. This set has some really cool cards. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. We'll take those. I think they're super ultra. They're super ultis. They're not ultra ultis, but that's still pretty cool. Okay, we've got those. Very nice. Two more packs. We'll see. Can we get an Ultra in here as well? Or did it get re replaced by the Super? We're going to find out. All right. Last two packs. Let's see if we can get another Rescue Cat as well. Refusion. Panda. And the Cross Counter. So we started off with four Rescue Cats in like six packs. And we've only seen one since then. So we shuffled them all to the very top. Final pack of the opening. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I love opening boxes I've never opened before. This is also a set I would enjoy opening again. It's had some really cool cards. It's just so hard to find. Really expensive, all that stuff. We have an Element Valkyrie. The Soul Swap. The Ushioni. Flame Ruler. And final chance at an Ultra. Chiron the Mage. Okay, so it did replace the Ultra Rare. That's okay. That was a pretty good box. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five. I messed up. We actually got six of these, not five. Very good. I mean, all $15 cards. We got Behemoth twice, which is very strange. Deck Devastation was the only single super rare. Two Lightning Vortexes. And then our ultimate rares were very awesome. The Grand Mark, the Rock Monarch, and the King Dragon. Very awesome. That was a super fun opening. If you guys enjoyed the old school openings, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we will always be doing old school openings as long as we possibly can. And they're so much fun. I appreciate you guys being here. We actually have a PSA return from October 2020 coming tomorrow. So hope you guys 
check that one out tomorrow. It's going to be very fun. I don't even know what cards are in it because it's so old. It should be a lot of fun, like 35 cards, our biggest one in quite a while. So if you enjoy the PSA sub, make sure to check it out. And that's it for this video. I will see you guys later. Peace. <laughs> Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!